and just enjoying this magical, oh, I think it just pooped. <laughs> All right, after a failed attempt of what I would call a selfie sunset shot, I probably could have just pointed my camera in any direction and gotten what I was shooting. What a, what a spectacular, spectacular place. Okay, welcome back everyone. There's an osprey nest right here on this tower that you can see. It actually just took off and landed across the way there as I started filming this. I actually came to this spot just to scout this particular area for sunrise. We were over there in last week's episode and I came over here because we're finally getting some sun after a few days of rain and wind. So I came over here and uh, it's sunset. We're coming up on sunset right now. Oh, he's back. He's back, he's right. He's right there, but I think what we should do is we should get a higher vantage point so that I'm shooting down and photographing him. He seems a little upset right now, but let's, uh, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna, let's go up there and see if we can get a better shot. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so we're at a higher vantage point. We're a little bit further away than we were. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> There's no way you can hear me. But instead of shooting up, where all we have is the sky as the background, very dull, very little separation between him and anything else or her. Now, as you can tell, our vantage point is looking down into the ocean. I'm shooting on the R7 again to get that 800 mil with my 100 or 500. It actually might be too close. And I'm trying to make the decision between zooming in so far where it's really obvious that he is the subject or she is the subject, but then you kind of lose sight of this big giant scene behind them. So I'm kind of taking both. Oh, what a beautiful bird. While I was sitting here taking photos, another osprey came and landed and I think brought a fish. I can't really see it on my camera. They came, I, I can't tell if that's the adolescence or the spouse. I, again, I'm not a wildlife photographer, but they came for a second. I got a little bit of footage and they flew off again and I'm hoping they come back while we're still getting this really nice light that you can see on this pillar here. Uh, it's just, it's so cool to just sit here and watch. Uh, and I'm trying to, photo-wise, I'm trying to get these waves in the background as they recede and also very zoomed in on the Osprey because it is just such a cool shot. I mean, how often do you get to find a nest on a spiral over here and then shoot into the ocean super zoomed in? Uh, I don't know, it feels special. Again, not a wildlife photographer. Maybe it happens all the time, but uh, I'm really enjoying this nice blue sky sun evening uh, just because I'm seeing the sun uh, and this is a special treat for me because I don't ever really get to do this and uh, I mean just the landscape is need I say more okay I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled I'm gonna be watching see if they land again or they come around last time uh, they started to get really excited before they landed and then that was kind of my sign so I gotta pay attention for that this time. Okay, I am perched up here, as you can tell, uh, on this rock face uh, and We've got this perfect alignment where some of the waves are still crashing in the background with some light. Not much light is left on the perch where the osprey is, but the spouse, I'm thinking it's spouse, just came back with another fish. And I got a few photos of that as it was landing. And damn, is that fish big. 
Holy crap. I uh, might have gotten a good one. I, obviously, I won't know until we get it back on the computer, but from the back of the camera screen, it was a pretty cool moment, at least. Not entirely sure if it's sharp, you know, blah, 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 photography things. Uh, but I'm just, man, I'm just, like, it's so cool to just sit here, perched. The Osprey is right there, waiting for the other one to come back. I'm listening, because every time this one starts to make sound, um, I start to look out for the other one that's going to land and get ready for that. So it's making some noise right now. I'm looking around. I don't see anything currently. When we're going to go back to waiting and just enjoying this magical. Oh, I think it just pooped. <laughs> I think that's why it was. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back to uh, watching it poop, um, Nat Geo style. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining in. And uh, man, life is. Life is so good here. Well, aside from all the, the nine days straight of uh, solid gusting wind and rain, but when I'm filming and it looks like this, it, it's, a pretty, it's pretty hard not to be happy, so. <laughs> As you can tell, we are now in blue hour. I packed up my things because I don't think the shots were ever gonna get better than that last landing that I got. It was nice to realize that what I could do is just wait because I knew that the images taken with just the one Osprey on the nest were never gonna necessarily be as good as the other Osprey landing with a fish. So after that first time that one showed up, all I did was just wait for the second time and we got it the third time right at the end here and I was able to capture a video with one camera and capture photos with my other camera all at the same time. I think that they turned out really well for looking on the back of my camera, or at the very least, the footage is really cool. Uh, because, because the first two times they landed from the side, but this time, the third time they landed, they were coming straight at me, which just worked amazing for the composition. Really cool shot, really cool to just sit here and watch that. Something I don't always get to do, and uh, I mean, just look at the location I'm in. It's Newfoundland, it, I, I just, what a, what a spectacular, spectacular place. Please add it to your list if you, if you have a list of places to visit because it was not on mine uh, and it should have been. Anyways, that's going to wrap up this portion. Uh, I don't know where the rest of this episode is going to go because this is the first thing we're filming, but hopefully it's tomorrow for sunrise. Ah, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me along this really cool moment. I feel very lucky. And I'm glad you guys get to be here. All right. Hopefully see you tomorrow morning. Hey, part of the restaurant. I just want to say thank you for all the support. And if you wanted to help support me in more ways than just liking or subscribing to this channel, you can do that with a little link down below the like button. You can find things like my 2024 calendar, which I just released. It's an absolutely great holiday gift for a friend or family member or even yourself. It's got QR codes on the calendar. So if you get it for someone else, they can scan those and they can see how the images that are on their wall were taken. It's really cool. I'm really proud of it. I definitely think you should check it out. And if that's not anything you're interested in, maybe just checking out my Patreon for early access to some editing tips or postcards once a month, or maybe you wanna learn editing, you can check out my Lightroom Editing Companion that's linked down there, which is this thing I've created that integrates straight into Lightroom to teach you how to edit. No matter what, maybe you just wanna share this with someone that's into travel or photography, and you could just hit the like button and subscribe if you're really into it. Regardless, I appreciate your support. Let's get back to the video. Thank you for watching.
Hey everyone, it is sunset. Woke up for sunrise this morning. There was an actual sunrise, but it got squelched pretty quick. Didn't really film anything or get anything. Uh, and then it just started raining. It was overcast all day until now. The predictions for weather had been sunny, so I was really excited, but I really don't trust predictions on the coast. But as you can tell, they were correct. So we're uh, gonna hike in this direction here and go find a sunset shot. I've already scouted this location. This is where I've been sleeping a couple nights. I've been here in last week's video, but we're going to a different spot. So we've got a little bit of distance to go. We're gonna get there, set up, and see if we can find a nice composition and just hope that the sun does not get blocked by a layer of clouds on the horizon, which, um, you know, if you've watched my content for anything on the coast, you know that that happens a lot, so. So we're at the very tip of this peninsula here. Those rocks right there actually are the very northern part of this peninsula. It looks like we're actually gonna get a sunset, but of course I always say that and then right at the, the end point, uh, it gets blocked by some marine layer or something. But there's a few shots I wanna take. I wanna take this shot that you can see behind me with this coming out during blue hour. I think it's gonna look really gorgeous. You can see that there's light hitting it right now uh, and I might take a shot or two of that if I can find the right composition, but I think it's gonna work better when the light is softer and there's a bunch of just hazy kind of clouds on the horizon and those type of clouds can really catch some of those pinks and blues. So cross your fingers for that. I also wanna take a shot as the sun is setting directly facing into the sun. There's this perfect bowl of coastline with some giant rocks coming out and the sun goes directly in the middle of the frame, but it only works right as the sun is cresting the horizon. We get that nice F-16 sun star. But again, if it gets blocked by anything on the horizon, it's not gonna work. But thankfully, if it gets blocked, this shot should still work. Lastly, gonna get the drone in the air right now, take a few shots. I mean, even though it looks like there's a lot of light, we've only got maybe 35-ish minutes until the sun sets, even though it's pretty bright right now. So gonna get the drone in the air. Uh, wish me luck, it's pretty windy, and uh, let's hope we, we don't lose it. After a failed attempt of what I would call a selfie sunset shot, I wasn't really in love with my composition as the sun was setting, so I thought I would add myself as an element into the scene just because there was no clouds in the sky, of course, besides the cloud that ended up blocking the direct sunlight. So I just threw myself into the scene. The problem was <laughs> I set up the shot, I put my two-second timer on, interval, and bracketed, ran down, stood up, came back, the sun was gone, my camera never kept taking shots, so I must have either not hit the setting or something, uh, but I was in a hurry and being in a hurry is the reason that it didn't work and that's my own fault. I don't think the shot was uh, anything great anyways, so it's not like I lost much. But the scene that I really came here for was this one, even though this composition isn't necessarily straightforward, it's kind of interesting. I've got this really close foreground element here with all this, uh, you know, brush here, but, and it, but I'm using that to kind of block some of the boring rocks that are at the bottom of the frame if I end up standing up. And if I stood up, basically I would lose that. But the other nice thing about this 
little element down here is it's adding this green color to the image. And it's contrasting really well with the blue water and the pink hues in the sky, which is what we came here for. It's, it's not an image that I've ever really taken before. It's got so many different things. It's got this giant rock face, a little bit of this green color on the bottom, some rocks over here. This is the part that I'm not totally in love with. And I, I, I just really love this cove with the, the rocks going out into the water. Ah, here's the image. All right, the colors in the cloud have pretty much faded away, meaning it's time to pack up, head back to the car, hopefully get there before it's completely dark, and go recharge the batteries. So tomorrow, we're gonna try to shoot sunrise at the same spot we started this episode in, where I photographed the Ospreys. And I think, based off the weather prediction, it's looking pretty good to actually get some sun. So I'm pretty stoked for that, uh, and mostly because I really haven't gotten very many uh, sunrises. It just seems to rain every morning. So we're gonna to try to do that and I'll see you guys in the morning. Looks like there's a giant layer of clouds on the horizon back here. I'm not entirely sure you'll be able to see, but there is a little break in the clouds and I'm hoping we've got about 20 minutes until the sun actually comes up. And I'm hoping that little break in the clouds is enough to provide us with an absolutely epic sunrise because there are clouds all around and usually that little slit opens up and the sun comes out, it just provides some of the best conditions uh, here on the coast. So, I'm gonna walk over, get to our sunrise spot, see what we're working with, and just hope for the best. Thanks for joining me along. I just woke up about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> kind of the benefit of uh, sleeping where I'm gonna shoot. But man, no matter what happens, not even, if I don't even take a photo, or whatever. Just glad to wake up and be able to wake up to this. <sighs> what a magical, magical place. All right, so the shot that I've set up is this very high key shot. This is the area we were in last week's episode when I think we were hunting for rainbows. But this time around, I'm shooting this wide shot and I've got these giant rocks here on the bottom that really show off the geology of Newfoundland. And then we have these crashing waves, these nice blue turquoise waves. And I'm kind of using this high key look where it's, I might even purposely blow out the highlights over here because I love all of this sea spray that's catching this red light back here on the coastline as it recedes back into the image. And we got some nice colors here up in the sky. Uh, and I might bracket the shot so that I can recover some of that if I want to. But I really love the way this high key looks for this particular image where things are a bit brighter than they possibly should be. And then also the sun should come up right above, I think it's coming up right now, right there. So I'm hoping if I wait and it comes above those clouds that I might get a sunburst as, or a sun star as well but we'll have to wait and see. I think even just this image before the sun was coming up in that blue hour tone or while it's getting blocked by that cloud was pretty gorgeous regardless. So pretty happy with just getting that in the bag. And then the rest of this morning, we could get some more stuff uh, for the next hour or so, judging by these conditions. So I'm gonna wait around and uh, keep, well, obviously keep taking some shots. <laughs> Or 
we got even better conditions than I could have hoped for. Everything came together. I take this big wide image and as the sun peaked above those peaks and created this nice perfect sun star, we had light rays coming off on the distance from that ocean sp sea spray coming up from the waves and it was red and there was this red highlights on the waves here uh, with the blue turquoise of the water. It's just, it doesn't get any better than that. I'm not entirely sure my composition was great, but it's just a big grand image that I think was hard to mess up regardless. I probably could have just pointed my camera in any direction and, and gotten what I was shooting. I was bracketing F16 about, my main image that I cared about was, I want to say one fifth to one second shutter speed. I can't remember. I'll show them to you when I uh, show you the image. But what I really wanted is some turmoil in the water. There's a lot of white. So the problem is when there's a lot of white in the water, it just looks like this mush. If you're slower, if you slow down your shutter speed, it just doesn't look great. But if you speed up your shutter speed too much, it just doesn't look great either. So I was trying to find the in-between and I think I just decided on a slightly longer shutter speed because it has that feeling of chaos in the image. Whereas if I shorten the shutter speed, everything is just crisp. But those are the technical aspects of the image. Again, I don't think you could mess it up uh, no matter what you were taking with. Could have shot it with my phone and it would probably look pretty dang good because uh, Mother Nature looks pretty dang good. So here's the image. This is probably gonna wrap up the episode unless something else happens, but the sun has now gone behind this layer of clouds that you can see on the top of the screen. And I don't think we're gonna get more light for the rest of this morning. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. As always, you can like the video if you liked it. Consider subscribing if you loved it. There's gotta be some rainbows out there somewhere. We just gotta go find them. Here's the image that we just took. It's probably pretty epic. I don't know yet, but I'm pretty sure it is. Thanks for watching. Later.